Hello everybody, it's Lyle Wells with The Flipping Group. I hope you're having a great year. One of the things that amazes me every year is the ability of educators like you to rise to the occasion and meet the challenges that come with educating this generation of children. As an example, one of the newest challenges that many of you are facing is the Common Core State Standards Initiative. In fact, a recent survey told us that 70% of administrators like you feel unprepared for the initiation, the implementation, and the sustainability of this initiative. And so we dug a little deeper and started to ask questions and we found out that there are six primary points of pain, areas that are real concerns for them. Obviously the first one is people. They're your most precious resource. And what do you do? How do you leverage your people? Do you pull your best teachers out of the classroom and replace them with substitutes so they can, can work on this initiative? Do we burn them out by keeping them late after school, night after night because of the comprehensive nature of this initiative? Uh, or do we just spend some time and a ton of money in the summertime bringing them back in? Well, I've already mentioned time. You know it's the most precious resource you have and you don't have enough of it already. And here comes this massive initiative that's gonna put more pressure on your time and your calendar. The third one is resources. And again, we know that as an educational organization, you're struggling to find adequate resources as it is. And if you do have adequate resources, how do I allocate them most effectively to help drive this initiative? Number four is that the stakes are high. This is an unprecedented level of legislation. And at no time in our history will there be as much attention placed on an education initiative as there is this one. You can't afford to fail at this initiative. Number five is simply change. We know that whenever there's change, that we're gonna to have to, to add something, resources, attention, people in one direction, and so that's gonna impact the balance of our organization. And so how do you navigate that change curve? And the sixth one is simply implementation. How do I take what is now legislation and turn it into an effective lesson plan? And how do I take a great lesson plan and turn that into a high level of learning for every student that's in that classroom. That's why we've created this video, the seven keys to smooth and effective implementation of this initiative. The seven keys to the smooth and effective implementation to the Common Core Standards Initiative. We've identified these keys both by leveraging the, the experience of our curriculum experts and been talking to educators like you. And we know that these seven keys must be present in order for this initiative to thrive. The first is vision. Without a clear vision, we don't know where to go and people that want to follow don't know where they're going. So it creates a demotivation. There's a lack of clarity and without vision, there's confusion. Confusion doesn't drive performance. Confusion negatively impacts performance. The second key is attainable objectives. Now, without attainable objectives, we're gonna have disorientation. In the flipping group, we say that the purpose of a leader is to behave in a way that influences others and drives outcomes. But we have to know what those outcomes are in order to direct our behavior and our influence in the proper direction. Without that, we're gonna have disorientation. And when I look at these two words in red, confusion and disorientation, I think it describes the circumstances of so many of you right now, and we're here to help. The third key is this, it's simply skills. Teachers are constantly be give, being given new curriculum and new responsibilities without the skills to deliver on that. And without skills, their anxiety goes up. And when their anxiety goes up, it impacts their performance and it impacts the culture of their classroom. Neither of those are highest and best for our kids. And so we need skills to help us attain the objectives to fulfill the vision. The fourth is incentives. And I'm talking about so much more than money here. But if we're gonna cast a vision, if we're gonna set attainable objectives, what's the reward? Because without a clear incentive understanding, there's going to be drift. The reward to effectively implementing this process is this. 
for our students is that they have access to some of the best curriculum and some of the best instruction that they've ever had. For our teachers, it's a clear path forward. It's a map for them to take step by step every day into the classroom so they can walk through the door and do what they've been called to do, teach their subject and impact the lives of their students. The fifth is resources. We talked about the pain of being under-resourced, but how do I effectively utilize the resources that I have at my disposal? And how do I find the other resources that I need to take us to the next level? That's a source of frustration when we're under-resourced. And part of the process of effectively implementing the Common Core State Standards is this, using the right resources in the right way at the right time to help move the process forward. Sixth is the action plan. It's the roadmap. It's what's next. It's that clearly defined path with some behavioral steps and some measurables along the way. Without an action plan, we have false starts. Now, you and I know that time is a precious commodity for you and for all the people that you lead. So are resources. False starts waste resources. And it's too expensive a proposition, and it's actually too important a proposition for us to waste time with false starts. We need to take steps in the right direction immediately and continue on that path. And finally, there's monitoring and evaluation. We know that assessment's been part of your life for a very long time, and it's not going away. And with Common Core State Standards, there's gonna be additional assessments coming in behind it. So being able to monitor our process, being able to actually identify where we're at on our action plan, and are we reaching our attainable objectives, are we on a path, is important for the sustainability of this initiative. Without monitoring and evaluation, we have discontinuity. We have disconnection. The points aren't connected. It seems like a random act at the central office, at the administrator's level, at the classroom level. And the goal is to connect the dots. To summarize the seven keys, vision leads us to attainable objectives, but we need skills, incentive, and resource to get there. We need an action plan to guide our path, and we need proper monitoring and evaluation. Now we know that CCSS is a complicated initiative and you need a comprehensive plan. Our heart at the Flippin' Group is to serve you and ultimately to serve those you serve, teachers and children at each campus and in every classroom. We want to impact communities using our tools to equip you and empower you to your highest and best performance. We want to help you solve this unique challenge. To do that, we've created a solution called Common Core Connection. Now, we're all familiar with Common Core, but our goal is to help you connect the dots, to take the resources, the time, the people, the curriculum, and align it and connect those dots so that the legislation truly is seen in the lesson plan, and the lesson plan translates to a higher level of learning than students have ever experienced before. Now, how do we do that? Well, we start with a curriculum guide. We've talked about an action plan and a roadmap, and our curriculum guide, in-depth, vertically aligned, K through 12, is the best tool that we can possibly offer you to help you reach your objectives and fulfill your vision. So this is the trail guide, but you're going to need trail leaders to guide you on that path. And so we're going to do professional development and intense pouring into of five of your most action-minded leaders, five educators who are committed to this process that you select your highest and best talents. We're going to pour into them so they can be the trail leaders on this path, leading others, educating others in your district along the way. And then finally, we're going to provide custom coaching. Now, we understand. We've sat in your chair and we know that as an educational leader, no day is the same. No district's the same. No community's the same. And so we're not offering a cookie cutter solution. We're bringing you custom coaching where we can hear your heart and we can 
un, I, help you identify the challenges and the solutions that you need in your particular situation. Now, these are just three big, big pieces of this solution that we're offering to you. There's so much more, but I don't have time to tell you. But I do have one request. I want you to click on, on the button below me, and I want to introduce you to Debbie Payne. Debbie Payne is an amazing educator. She's a friend and a trusted resource for me. Debbie has over 25 years of experience as an educator in the classroom and at the district level. She has seen curriculum from the desk to the boardroom, and she understands how to navigate this challenge. In fact, she's helped hundreds of people with their curriculum challenges related just to the Common Core State Standards Initiative, and she's helped thousands around the world with other curriculum challenges. I want to offer you an opportunity to meet with Debbie for one hour over the phone. When you click, you'll have direct access to her calendar, and you can schedule a time that's convenient for you so you can sit down and talk to this amazing curriculum expert. You can ask her your most challenging CCSS questions, and you can receive some personalized coaching from her on how to move forward in this unique path. I want to challenge you to do this right now. I know we always think we don't have time, and I will tell you right now, this is an investment of time that will be a great resource to you. Debbie has helped me go from where I want to be to where I need to be as an educator, and I know she can do the same for you.